For almost a decade, the United States relentlessly pursued one man, Osama bin Laden, the mastermind behind the devastating September 11th attacks that claimed the lives of nearly 3,000 Americans. These tragic events led to a war that still persisted as of 2nd of May 2011. Although the United States has succeeded in overthrowing the Taliban, the Afghan government that had sheltered bin Laden, capturing or killing him remained an elusive goal. However, the tide was about to turn. The CIA had spent years tirelessly searching for bin Laden's secret base without success. Despite U.S. occupation in Afghanistan, bin Laden had managed to escape and seek refuge in the neighboring country of Pakistan, in the remote and mountainous regions of Pakistan where government oversight was minimal, bin Laden could easily evade capture. For years, the U.S. government had been seeking leads to his whereabouts. Finally, in 2010, a breakthrough occurred when their leads led them to a compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. The government initiated surveillance and meticulously planned the operation to breach the compound. Operation Neptune Spear would go down in history as one of the most challenging intelligence gathering operations conducted by the United States. The heavily guarded compound was situated in enemy territory, making the mission incredibly risky. To gather intelligence, the U.S. heavily relied on local assistance and conducted months of surveillance on the three-story building. While they obtained a wealth of information about the compound, one crucial element remained missing, a direct image of bin Laden entering or exiting the building. Nevertheless, after an extended period, they concluded that the infamous terrorist leader was indeed residing there. With all the necessary intelligence in hand, it was time to take action. On April 29, 2011, President Obama was briefed on the operation's details. Despite skepticism from some members of his security team due to the risks involved, the President made the decision to proceed. This marked the beginning of Operation Neptune Spear. Tasked with carrying out the operation were the elite members of SEAL Team 6, a highly trained squadron of Navy SEALs. This elite group, directly answerable to the Joint Special Operations Command, regularly undertakes highly classified operations ranging from hostage rescue to counter-terrorism. Their expertise was vital for the successful execution of Operation Neptune Spear. The Capture or Kill Mission The mission assigned to SEAL Team 6 was classified as Capture or Kill, although the United States officially adheres to the policy of not killing enemies who surrender, it was clear to everyone involved that Osama bin Laden would never surrender. Thus, the team had to be prepared for any scenario and employ risky strategies. After months of planning since the initial intelligence reports, the U.S. government considered various strategies. Joint operations with Pakistani military forces were a possibility, but concerns about possible leaks deterred this option. The U.S. also contemplated using stealth bombers to strike the compound, but the lack of a follow-up to confirm bin Laden's death posed a significant challenge. Eventually, the decision was made to proceed with a more traditional approach. SEAL Team 6 embarked on an operation using modified Black Hawk helicopters designed to fly quietly and evade enemy raider. Given the training and supplies provided by U.S. advisors to the Pakistani military, the team was confident in navigating past potential adversaries. The objective was to reach the compound undetected, neutralize the target and exit swiftly. On May 1, 2011, at 1.22 p.m., Defense Secretary Robert Gates and Admiral Mike Mullen, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, received a call from President Obama authorizing the operation to proceed. Four helicopters 
carrying the members of SEAL Team 6, departed from a base in Afghanistan towards Abbottabad. As they approached the compound, one of the helicopters experienced mechanical issues but managed to land safely. The team quickly adapted to the setback and adjusted their plan. They breached the compound walls, encountering resistance from Bin Laden's trusted couriers. During the operation, the SEALs meticulously cleared the compound, methodically moving from room to room. Finally, they reached the third floor living quarters where they encountered Osama Bin Laden himself. In a brief but intense firefight, Bin Laden was shot and killed along with several of his associates. With Bin Laden neutralized, the SEALs collected DNA samples for identification and gathered important documents and computer hard drives from the compound. They also ensured the safety of Bin Laden's family members present in the compound. As the operation concluded, the team faced another hurdle, the damaged helicopter. They made the difficult decision to destroy it to safeguard any sensitive technology it contained. The remaining team members, along with Bin Laden's body, were evacuated via the remaining helicopters. The news of Osama Bin Laden's death quickly spread worldwide, marking a significant milestone in the war on terror. President Obama addressed the nation, announcing the successful operation and emphasizing the significance of Bin Laden's elimination. The operation had a profound impact on the geopolitical landscape, it strained the relationship between the United States and Pakistan, as many questioned how Bin Laden could have remained undetected in a compound near a Pakistani military academy. The incident raised concerns about Pakistan's knowledge and potential support for terrorist organizations. In the years following the operation, several books, documentaries and films provided accounts and insights into Operation Neptune Spear shedding light on the intricate planning and execution behind the historic mission. Operation Neptune Spear stands as a testament to the unwavering determination and expertise of the United States intelligence and military forces. After a decade-long pursuit, the successful hunt and elimination of Osama bin Laden sent a clear message that those responsible for acts of terror would be held accountable. While the mission achieved its primary objective, the broader fight against terrorism continues to evolve. Operation Neptune Spear serves as a reminder of the ongoing challenges in maintaining global security and the dedication required to confront them.